Hello, I'm Stuart Heath, CEO of Harvard Grace Corporation, uh, where we provide finance and operations executive leadership tailored to your organization. Uh, in this week's uh, capital raising segment, I want to touch base on something that I briefly touched on last fall. But it, and a reason I want to do it again, because it's the new year, it's capital raising, capital raising season. There's new offerings out every day, uh, and it's almost like springtime and seeing uh, you know, new growth popping up everywhere. Uh, but this is the time where, uh, one of the times of the year where people uh, get out and start raising capital. Um, so what happened last fall is that the SEC adopted final rules whereby they simplified and harmonized all of the different exempt offering types. We had different rules for all kinds of different things, uh, and they have um, uh, harmonized to make all these offerings seem similar uh, on, on various levels. Uh, in the, uh, there's two things attached to this. There is a PDF that summarizes all the exempt offering types. Uh, you're welcome to download that and, and study that. That offering, that is also duplicated in the article attached here from Laura Anthony's uh, uh, Capital Law blog. Uh, and so I just want to touch on some of the major ones. Uh, first off, uh, what we're talking about exempt offerings, you're, you're being exempt from SEC registration, such as uh, uh, go, going public. So um, there's all kinds of rules to not have to do all those other rules. Um, and all this stems from the 1933 uh, and 34 uh, Securities Exchange Acts uh, and has set the basis for how we raise capital for small businesses here. Although it's been under uh, great upheaval and change since the 2012 uh, Jobs Act uh, under the Obama administration. Now, this is all good news. I think it's exciting stuff. Uh, so if you are doing an offering inside your own state, it's very likely you can qualify for an in-state exemption, which is fairly straightforward. Uh, there are uh, several rules, and you'll hear attorneys talk about Rule 504, Rule 506B, Rule 506C, um, and Regulation A. Uh, and, you know, the, the 500 rules are under Regulation D. So uh, just real quick, uh, 506B under Regulation D uh, is an exempt offering. Uh, you cannot do any general solicitation, advertising. You have to go to people that you know uh, or that people inside your organization knows. But you can raise money from both accredited and non-accredited investors. Uh, and, you, you know, we, we can talk about what's an accredited investor uh, uh, another time. But think about it as somebody who's has enough money that they should know what they're doing. Rule 506C is similar to 506B, except you can do uh, general solicitation. You can run TV ads, newspaper ads, uh, digital advertising, but you may only accept investments from accredited investors, no matter how small the investor is or how small the investment is. If you're raising a thousand dollars, but you're doing general solicitation advertising, you have to, they have to be an accredited investor. Uh, then we move on into the realm of what's called uh, pseudo public, which is under regulation A. They have two tiers and it basically breaks down as, uh, whether the numbers for the company have been audited or not audited. In tier one, where you're not audited, you could raise $20 million from anyone accredited and not accredited. Uh, and then tier two, uh, you could raise up to $75 million under accredited and not accredited. And then once you're public, once you've issued shares, then you have to follow uh, SEC reporting rules because you're, you're essentially a backdoor public offering. Reg A's take a lot longer. And so what you see a lot of people is doing a 506C. And then once the SEC accepts their Reg A filing, uh, then they close down the 506C and move directly into an A. So it's highly technical. Get the downloads, read the article. Um, if there's any way we can help you prepare your organization to start raising capital, let us know because that's what we do. Thanks a lot for watching.